A blessed day learners, it's me again, teacher Lumaban, and if you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, to be updated in my videos. This time our topic will be on social science exercises, set 3a. I hope you learn something, and enjoy this video. Please share it with your friends, to also learn about this topic. Be safe, and God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 When it comes to the territorial boundary, as an insular country, to which principle does the Philippines adhere? Letter A Archipelagic Doctrine Letter B Three Mile Territorial Limit Letter C 350 nautical miles from shore Letter D 200 nautical miles of the country's coast Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter A Archipelagic Doctrine. The Archipelagic Doctrine means that the country's islands and seas should be considered a political unit for their history, law, geography, economics, and security. Also, in involving territorial conflicts arise, the Philippines uses this doctrine to strengthen its territorial claims. Which part or parts of the Visayas has or have relatively more extremely moist climate and poor arable areas? Letter A Eastern Letter B Western Letter C Eastern and Central Letter D Central and Western Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter A Eastern. The Eastern Visayas is one of the coldest regions in the Philippines, with an ordinary daily high temperature of only 31 degrees centigrade. It is year-long warm or hot. There are two types of climate in the region under the Corona system of classification, type 2 and type 4. Type 2 climate characterized by having no dry season but declared maximum rainfall from November to January. Samar Island and the eastern part of Leyte Island fall under this type of climate. However, Type 4 has an equal distribution of rainfall the year round and a short period of the dry season starting February up to May. This type of climate is exhibits at the western half of Leyte Island and parts of northern Samar. Which statement follows President Garcia's Filipino first policy? Letter A Filipinos should buy and consume Filipino products only. Letter B Filipinos should not contribute to the brain drain problem. Letter C Filipinos to be given first preference in all matters related to the economic development of the country. Letter D Filipinos should be selective in the entry in the entry of foreign professionals into the country. Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C Filipinos to be given first preference in all matters related to the economic development of the country. The policy of President Garcia was a response to the impact of free trade and American economic dominance in the Philippines for years following World War II. It is to assert a greater Filipino role over the country's economy to gain control by promoting Filipino business establishment. President Garcia first instituted the policy with Resolution No. 202 of the National Economic Council on August 28, 1958. The policy dictates that Filipinos would have preference over non-Filipinos in receiving foreign exchange. In line with the policy, 
Garcia pledged that his administration would assist Filipino entrepreneurs in ventures to industries dominated by non-Filipinos. Which countries claim part of the Spratly Islands in the West Philippine Sea, aside from the Philippines? Letter A China, Taiwan, Brunei, Malaysia. Letter B China, Thailand, Brunei, Malaysia. Letter C China, Taiwan, Vietnam, Malaysia. Letter D Indonesia, China, Taiwan, Malaysia. Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C China, Taiwan, Vietnam, Malaysia. The Spratly Islands in the West Philippine Sea consist of more than 100 small islands or reefs surrounded by fruitful fishing areas, also potentially by gas and oil deposits. It claims by China, Taiwan, and Vietnam, Malaysia, and the Philippines. It is roughly 45 islands occupied by small military forces from China, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam. Which of the following choices is not our constitutional right? Letter A Form Association and Labor Unions Letter B Be presumed innocent until proven guilty Letter C Have access to all records of the government Letter D Free access to legal assistance, which shall not be denied due to poverty Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C. Have access to all records of the government. The following are some of the many of our constitutional rights. Form association and labor unions. Be presumed innocent until proven guilty. Free access to legal assistance, which shall not be denied due to poverty. A right to due process and equal protection of law. A right against searches and seizures without a warrant issued by a judge. Who recognized as the architect of Egyptian pyramids? Letter A. Caleb. Letter B. Karnak. Letter C. Imhotep. Letter D. Thutmos II. Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C. Imhotep. Imhotep was an Egyptian chancellor to the pharaoh Djoser, feasible architect of Djoser's step pyramid, and high priest of the sun god Ra at Heliopolis. There is very little knowledge of Imhotep as a historical figure. However, in the 3,000 years following his death, he was gradually glorified and deified. Which band on June 12, 1898, played the Lupang Hini Reim? Letter A Imus Band Letter B Kawit, Kavita Band Letter C Kavita Marching Band Letter D San Francisco de Malibin Band Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D San Francisco de Malibin Band. The San Francisco de Malibin Band is known for being the first marching band to play the Philippine national anthem Lupang Hini Reim, Bunda San Francisco de Malabon, is now known as Bunda Matanda. Whose Spanish Governor General had the program on tobacco monopoly in 1782? Letter A. Jose Bosco. Letter B. Narciso Claveria. 
Letter C. Yola Jo Despujal. Letter D. Gaspar de la Torre. Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter A. Jose Bosco. The tobacco monopoly regards the 1782 economic program of Spanish Governor General Jose V. Bosco, in which tobacco production in the Philippines was under the control of the government. The pueblos designate as tobacco districts, like Ilocos and Cagayan, and tobacco planting became mandatory, forgetting the other crops. The tobacco from Mexico brought in the country that became the most major industry in the 18th century. It took effect by a royal decree signed by King Carlos III of Spain. who supported the process of Filipinization in the Philippines during the American colonial period. Letter A. Dwight Davis. Letter B. Frank Murphy. Letter C. William Howard Taft. Letter D. Francis Burton Harrison. Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter D. Francis Burton Harrison. Harrison was Governor General of the Philippines from 1913 to 1921 and advocated for and supervised the process of Filipinization, or the transfer of authority to Filipinos in the United States Territory's insular government to better prepare for independence. It considered being the place where the first civilization flourished. Letter A Africa. Letter B Europe. Letter C Middle East. Letter D Latin America. Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C Middle East. The earliest civilizations in history established in the region presently known as the Middle East around 3500 BC by the Sumerians in Mesopotamia, Iraq, generally considered as the cradle of civilization. The Sumerians and the Akkadians, later Babylonians and Assyrians all flourished in this region. What is the second largest continent in the world? Letter A Asia Letter B Africa Letter C North America Letter D South America Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter B Africa. Africa is the world's second largest and second most populous continent, after Asia in both cases. It is about 30.3 million square kilometers that includes the adjacent islands, covers 6% of Earth's total surface area and 20% of its land area. With 1.3 billion people as of 2018, it accounts for about 16% of the world's human population. What is the pseudonym of Andres Bonifacio? Letter A Plurital. Letter B Long Lawn. Letter C Dimas Olong. Letter D Agapito Bagumbayan. Please choose the suitable answer to the following choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D Agapito Bagumbayan. Andres Bonifacio's pseudonym is Agapito Bagumbayan, while his inspiring Katipunan name was Maypagaza. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I hope you enjoyed.
Learn something new about our topic on the social science exercises. Set 3A. If you learn something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends to also learn about this topic. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos, hoping that we meet again in my next blog, and God bless you always.